it's Nicole the Math Lady. Today's lesson, we're talking about adding and subtracting fractions using three steps. And again, nothing new here today. This is a recap of what you've been doing. We've pulled it all together in one lesson, but now you have all the tools you need to add and subtract fractions. Here are the three steps. First, we shape. And when we say shape, we're talking about making sure that we can actually add or subtract. It has to have a common denominator. So we have, sometimes we have to reshape our fraction such that it has that common denominator. Then we do our operation, which is we add or subtract. And then we simplify, which is we can reduce or we can convert or we can do both. Okay, so let's go ahead and write that too. Reduce or convert to a mixed number is what I mean when I say convert. Let's try a few practice problems and use our SOS technique. Here's our first problem, 1 half plus 3 eighths. So first step is to shape out of the SOS, shape. We do not have a common denominator, so let's give it a common denominator. We're going to have 8 be our common denominator. So we need to convert this 1 half, we're going to convert this to 4 eighths plus 3 eighths. Okay, that was our shape. Now we're going to operate, which is our addition. 4 thirds plus 4 eighths plus 3 eighths equals 7 eighths. And then the third step is we simplify, or we look to see if we can simplify. Can we simplify 7 eighths? We cannot, so we're done. Let's try it again with this problem. 2 thirds minus 1 fifth. Let's use our SOS technique. First, we're going to shape. We don't have a common denominator, so let's give it one. Uh, we have a 3 and a 5. Our least common multiple between the two is going to be 15. Here we go. So both of them are going to say something over 15. 3 times 5 is 15, so 2 times 5 is 10. 5 times 3 is 15, so 1 times 3 is 3. That's our shape. Now let's operate. 10 fifteenths minus 3 fifteenths is 7 fifteenths. And then our last step is to simplify or to look to simplify. Can 7 fifteenths be simplified? It actually can, so we're done right there. Here's our final problem. 2 thirds plus 3 fourths. Let's use our SOS technique. Let's shape. We do not have common denominators, so let's give them the common denominator of 12. 3 times 4 is 12. 2 times 4 is 8. 4 times 3 is 12. 3 times 3 is 9. Great. Let's operate, which is add in this situation. 8 plus 9 is 17 over 12. And then the last part is to simplify. So we have 17 over 12. We can turn that into a mixed number, which it's going to be 1 and 5 twelfths. That is a fully simplified answer. And that's it. That's your SOS technique. As I said, you've been doing it before, but we just brought it all together in one lesson for you. Okay, that's it for me today. It's Nicole the Math Lady. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.